<laughs> Buzzing. This is gonna be sick. Well, we've landed in Iceland. I thought it'd be a good idea to get a Suzuki Jimny. Something pretty cool, like unique, little quirky car. And as you can see, there's not much room. The seats don't go back, they're very upright, and I'm basically sitting on top of the steering wheel. My seat is boiling. Is there, is there a, is there heat heated seats on? Uh, I don't know. My seat is hot. <laughs> um, yes, today we're climbing the volcano. That may or may not erupt. <laughs> straight, you're going straight. Um, yeah. Yeah, this volcano is like, eruption is imminent. Even the guy at the airport said we're brave for going up there today. But I really want to go up there. And we already booked it, so we're going to do it. Hopefully, we're going to be sweet as. Yeah, even the Blue Lagoon is closed up there. There's all these news articles saying, that, oh, there's going to be an eruption. Tourists flee. But we're going up there. We've booked accommodation kind of close to the car park for that. It's quite expensive out here. For example, we've got these two sandwiches and this coffee. It cost us 26 pounds for two sandwiches and a coffee. And that chicken in there is like wafer thin chicken. It's not like chicken pieces. <coughs> so that's just a little taster of what's to come. I, I've heard it's expensive over here, but uh, I'm still gonna try some local Icelandic delicacies, whatever they are. I have no idea what they eat out here. I think it's a lot of meat and fish. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna give it a go. To the volcano! Yeah, we need to see where path A is. It's cold. It is cold. <laughs> it's freezing. I feel like I'm walking on the moon. It does feel like we're walking on the moon or a different planet. There's not really many trees here. We see a few Christmas trees here. And other than that, it's just a bit like this, really. Amazing landscape. I've never seen anything like this before. Yes. Not really appropriate footwear, is it, Natalia? It's fine so far. Wait until it gets a little bit more rocky. The ground here is ice cold, frozen solid. Frozen solid, isn't it, Natalia? It's three degrees high today. That's two now. Huh? Two. It's two degrees now? Yeah. It's two degrees, middle of the day. It took us three hours to get here from England. Our flight was at 7.15 this morning. Got here about 10.15, half past 10. It's now about midday. And we've gone straight into climbing an active volcano that could erupt at any minute. Are we, are we brave? The man at the airport says we're brave. I want to see a volcano. And if I see an eruption, that would be insane. It could erupt at any day now. Uh, they've closed even the Blue Lagoon, which is up this volcano. Can't remember even what the volcano is called. It's only a half an hour drive from the airport. Reykjavik Airport. It's not even called Reykjavik Airport. What is it then? Kev something. Oh, Kevlevik. Kevlevik Airport. Didn't get much sleep last night. Couldn't sleep on the plane because somebody thought it'd be a smart idea for us to get coffee on the way, which I don't usually do. And now, here we are. Walking up a volcano. We have no water with us either. We kind of just came straight here because it takes two to two and a half hours to walk up, two to two and a half hours to walk down. The car park closes at 6 p.m. So we kind of just bolted it straight here in the old G-Wagon, Suzuki style. I'm gonna be cutting out all this breathing. <laughs> oh my God, it's so much uphill. As you can imagine, it's a volcano. It's not gonna be downhill, is it? It doesn't mean it hurts any less. Look at this place though. Oh. 
Look at this. I feel there's lava. Do you actually think that's lava? Like a stream of it, it's come all the way down here, it goes all the way down the mountain. Oh, this is sick. Yes, that is, that was lava. Look at that. Do you reckon it's still hot? No one else is touching it. I want to touch it. There are a few people up here on this bit. Mate, this used to be lava, man. It's crazy. I want to touch it. Still actually like steaming in some areas. See that over there? And it's steaming further, way further down the hill. It's not hot. Wow. Look at this. Wow, I've never seen anything like this before. This was actually like spewing lava. All this came out of the ground. <laughs> it's well interesting. I want to see an eruption so bad. That'd be so insane. It's a bit windy. But I do kind of want to send the drone up. Let's see if I can find some lava. Some actual real lava still. What is this over here? I don't know why no one else is walking on this. She's well interested. What's this? You know, this is the eruption point. Weird texture. This is awesome. I want to see one erupted now. Is it weird that weird that no one's walking on it though? Yeah, it is weird. Oh shit, it's still hot here. Bloody hell. Smoking. Do you think sometimes it feels like we're being dumb tourists? Yeah. <laughs> Ignorance is bliss. Yeah. That's warm. Is it? Yeah, that is hot. That's actually hot coming out the ground there. It's awesome. Put your hand near it. You feel the heat? Yeah. Wow. It's warm here. It's quite nice. Wow. Yeah, we're the only people on this, so maybe we shouldn't get off. We shouldn't. Herd, herd mentality. I want to see lava. Yeah, I want to see lava too, but I don't think we're going to. I think we missed it. Yeah. If, it's, if, the, if the ground starts rumbling, we need to run up there. Doesn't even have a smell to it. You'd think it'd smell bad. Right. Sh should we get off it now? I'm scared. Well, no, I'm not scared. I'm just. Yeah, there is a lot of smoke. All right, should we climb up the mountain? Because we're running out of time, really. Yeah. I'm not scared or anything. Should we, um... Haven't seen any wildlife since we got here. Have you seen any birds? No. No. No birds. No birds. There's no trees. Absolutely. It's a bit eerie, isn't it? It's a bit weird. Yeah. It does feel like you're on a different planet. It does. I feel like I'm on Mars. I've said it before, now say it again. The sun is directly <laughs> behind me. It's only quarter past one. The sun sets at quarter past four here. So at this rate, we're gonna be walking back in the dark. We've got no water. Nat's already thirsty, aren't you Nat? Yeah. We've not had one drop of water today and it's quarter past one. No, nope, we've had a coffee we've and a half coffee each. coffee and a half each, that's it. <sighs> Two sandwiches and two croissants. It's probably cost us about a week's worth of shopping. 
That's very expensive it can be. You have to be savvy. Yeah, but we're on but holiday. We're, yeah, but, uh, yeah, but we're on holiday, we're on holiday. But you still got to be savvy with your money. You can go on free holidays for the price of one if you're just savvy with your money. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's the way to be. Everyone always says I'm tight in that, but you have to go to all these crazy places. And I don't spend much money when I'm there. So it means I can go to more places and experience more things. And having a slightly better quality food is not gonna, not gonna uh, change my experience enough well, for me to stop doing it, you know? Bed. Or a nicer bed, but this bed will be sweet as. We booked a guest house. Yeah, we've got a shared bathroom, 85 pounds for one night. That's very common though by the looks of it. Everyone, everywhere on, on booking.com has a shared bathroom unless you want to pay 250 pound a night. Right, so yeah. Yeah, because I was looking at another one, it was 133 pound for one night. Yeah, but that looked shit. It didn't look shit. It did. It didn't. That it was not worth it. It didn't look shit. It was just, it was like a little log cabin, kind of like right here. It, it was in this sort of setting, which I think would be quite cool, a little cabin. I think that would be sweet. I didn't have a shared bathroom. It's a bit negative. Everything that I don't agree with you with, you say is negative. Yeah, because what I'm saying is positive, so the disagreement is negative. It's 3 p.m. now. We've got 1.5 kilometers to go. I'm a little bit thirsty, I'm not gonna lie. And it's getting a little bit colder as well. I don't know what the temperature is now, maybe one or zero degrees, but the sun will be down in one hour and 15 minutes. So we need to hurry up really. Okay, we just found a sign. Do not walk on the lava is the first warning. <laughs> the, the crust can collapse, dangerously hot lava underneath. We're both sitting by the entrance where the smoke's coming out. Oh, look how warm it is. <laughs> I told you we were being silly tourists. There was a reason no one else was walking on that stuff. It does look a lot more dense here though, so it probably will be okay for us to walk on it. I think so. Are we at the volcano? I don't know. I don't know. Might be over there. Where's the path? No, the path's here. And we finally made it to the top of the volcano. It's steaming. I don't think there's any lava though. It's quite disappointing. Okay, now it's a bit. It is actually quite. Uh, it's different up here, isn't it? I see what they mean by unstable. I was kind of hoping we'd be able to walk up there, but it's kind of not really doable. Do you reckon? It's not very strong though. It, if actually, now they mention it, it probably could collapse. <laughs> oh, I wanted to see inside. It's just where it keeps on sort of collapsing through. It's very like, look at this. I just, I just don't think that's going to be safe. I've done a quick risk assessment and I decided that's too dangerous. We're not going to go up there. I don't think it's that dangerous, I just think it's long. All right, all right, well, if it ain't dangerous, let's go then. Fuck the risk assessment, let's go. Yeah. Marco just went through that. Yeah. See? Oh, it's not dangerous. I just think it's long. Oh, all right. See, just stand on the bits. I actually fully went through that. Yeah, and there's yep. hot lava underneath as well, remember? Yeah. Look at this. Well cool. Yeah, look at it, it's hollow up here. Somebody's already gone through here. I ain't gonna get up that. I'm gonna have to put you away and uh, use my hands. Because realistically, we could cut across there and just walk up there. And cut all this no, we, we just want to see in here, don't we? Yeah. We just want to see this bit here. Yeah, but I'm saying we could come down and then walk up there. Oh, to get back? Out. Oh yeah, to get back. Yeah. yeah, but I'm not thinking about that. I'm thinking about this treacherous bloody journey you've made us go on. I haven't made us do anything. Saying it's not dangerous. You know that's gonna make me wanna do it. I kind of wanted to get to that. I can see some orange on it, but I, I just can't get there. It's, it's starting to get a bit, the cracks are starting to get a little bit too big. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send the drone up 
and I'm just going to look at it, I'm going to cheat. It's the only way. I think maybe if I was here on my own, I'd probably just brave it, but. That's it, blame me. Your mum will kick my ass if you fall into a volcano. Come on, let's get let's get back down. We got we're running out of daylight as well. Right. We've got a dinner yet. We haven't even drank any water today at all. We're at the top of a volcano deciding whether we should walk up it even more. At half past three. It's pretty treacherous. It looks real thick from up here, but look, it's hollow. Look at that. There's hot lava underneath us as well, which is obviously playing on my mind just a little bit. I think, yeah, we're gonna start walking back. Go and check out accommodation. I just got a message saying that that's all ready to go. So we'll go and check that out. See what 85 pound gets you for a night here. Where are you going? Yeah. Nat, follow me. You're going up, we need to go down. I'm going that way. No, you're not, that's, that is way longer than us just going down here. Look, watch, this is why you need a leader. Well, I was just taking a quick piss on the way back and there was just a mad earthquake. Oh my God. That was mad. I was mid piss, I was thinking, oh, fuck, I can't run. Did you hear, what was that noise? Dunno. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe that. I think that was an earthquake. That was an earthquake. Huh? That just moved there. I felt it. Yeah, I, know. I was moving around trying to take a piss. Oh my god. <laughs> How's that for timing? Oh my god, I can't believe it. I've never felt an earthquake before in my life. <laughs> Same. Whoa! What? That is mental. That was pretty mad. <laughs> it's mad when you, you feel the actual power of it. The whole place moves. Crazy. I can't believe that. I felt, I was just thinking, I feel really weak where we've not really eaten a lot and I haven't had any water. And then I felt the earth and I was like, oh my god, I'm fainting. <laughs> <laughs> but it was the earthquake. Oh my god, that's mental. That was sick. That is why they've closed the Blue Lagoon, because they keep getting earthquakes here, and like, eruption is imminent. We haven't seen a single drop of lava though. Very disappointing. Nah, it's been sick. It's well cool. Look, look at it. You see all the smoke coming through? Well, cool. <laughs> there was an earthquake while I was midway having a piss. Something I never ever thought would happen. Pretty cool timing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is sick. I was just about to say as well, I was just thinking, it's a typical media hyping it all up and making us all scared and like, oh my God, there's like been loads of earthquakes, loads of seismic activity. They've had to shut the Blue Lagoon for a week and everyone's panicking and tourists are fleeing and all this stuff. And we come here and it's like really peaceful. You know, it looks pretty cool. And then there was an earthquake. <laughs> all right, maybe. Maybe I actually don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> We're nearly back to the car now. It's about 4 p.m. We left at 12, so it actually only took us four hours to get there and back. And we stopped a lot along the way. So it doesn't take two to two and a half hours to get there. Maybe we 
possibly walk a little bit quicker than a lot of people, but it still wasn't very long at all. Well worth doing as well, well worth doing. So gonna get back to the car now, check out that accommodation, and then try out some Icelandic food. I actually don't even know what they eat here. Sweet pickled herrings. Is it actually sweet pickled herrings? Your mum keeps saying sweet pickled herrings. Yeah, that's exactly what they eat. Is it? That's one of the things they eat. Right. They're actually quite nice. Are they? Yeah. Well, maybe I'll try that because I've never tried that. Uh, yeah, I'm interested to see a menu. I don't know if it's going to be in English. I might have to uh, get the old translator app out again. <laughs> or we could do the old... Yeah, and end up with bloody... Sheep's head. Sheep's head. <laughs> yeah, apparently sheep's head is a Icelandic delicacy. <sighs> anyway, what a beautiful country. We just got to the car park. We see this. Awesome food after the hike. That sounds absolutely perfect. Papa's restaurant, and it's in the same town as our lovely guest house. <sighs> Gonna go get some food now, get back, and then see the accommodation. Slight change of plan. Dinner time at last. Papa's restaurant is the one we've decided to go to. The sign at the end of the hike got me. I like that. It's very proactive, very proactive advertising. They went out there, they beat the competition. There's not actually that much competition, to be honest, in this area. There's maybe five or six restaurants in this little town near the volcano. Uh, the prices are not actually as bad as I thought they would be. They're kind of like UK prices at the minute. Well, Nat Nat's ordered us tap water. Can we even drink the tap water here? We can. Mm. Oh, sick. You can drink the tap water here. Free. It's one of the cleanest water in the world. I don't know if it's because I haven't drank any water all day, but that does feel clean. Mm. That's a perfect end to a great day. <sighs> this morning, sitting at home, ready to go to the airport. A few hours later, we've climbed a volcano, ordered a great food. Mm. Thank you. It does look strong. That's very dark for you. Very dark, isn't it? It's actually really nice. Yeah. It's a Christmas beer, apparently. It's well nice. Try it. It's actually really nice. Try it. Give the apple scent a try, mate. I don't know if it's because we've been out all day and haven't <laughs> eaten or drank anything, but this all this is tasting amazing. Oops. That tastes better than Fanta. Fucking hell. It's... Oh my god. <laughs> That's the second one we yes. felt today. Another earthquake. Another one, yeah. Get your wine. Oh my god. I can't believe it. It probably <laughs> Even she was even like, oh my god. Oh my god. Fucking hell. <laughs> Two earthquakes. Before the beer went straight to my head there. How good does this look? It smells so nice. Wow, that is amazing. That is good. That is so nice. I didn't even realise how hungry I was till I came in here and started looking at the menu. That's well nice, isn't it? That's like perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this. Banging fish and chips, Papa's restaurant. Well nice, perfect after a day's hike. Perfect. One wine, one beer, two fish and chips, one apple sin orange drink that's very nice. 60 quid. Not that bad. I actually thought before I came here that it was about 40 pounds for a meal on its own. It might be where we are. We're in like a little fishing town near the bottom of the volcano, which is where we're staying because it's, because we obviously got off the flight today, walked up the volcano today. We just didn't want to, didn't want to have to drive into the country any further today. We're going to do that tomorrow, go on the little road trip <clears throat> to the east along the south coast. We need to find this thermal river, Geo geothermal river. I want to swim in a warm river in the cold. That's all I want to do. It's going to be glorious. It's going to be horrible. And I'm going to be naked. It's going to be horrible. <laughs>